Dr. Austin Ivory talking to us live from Oxfordshire. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us here at BBC World News. Now to other news, and as fighting intensifies in Syria's second city, Aleppo, divisions at the UN on how to halt the conflict appear to be as wide as ever. The United States has now promised to provide an extra $45 million of aid to the opponents of President Bashar al-Assad, taking US spending on aid to Syria to more than $130 million. But Russia has accused countries that back the opposition of pushing the country deeper into the abyss. James Kelly reports. They've been described as some of the fiercest exchanges in months in a country growing accustomed to bloodshed. Activists and residents of Aleppo say fighting has now spread to several previously peaceful parts of the city, but it's believed that the rebels have struggled to make any significant advances. Significant advances are also proving hard to achieve at the United Nations, where the Security Council is split over its approach to the conflict. The United States made clear its frustration as it promised to contribute an additional $15 million in non-lethal equipment, mostly communications kit, to the civilian opposition trying to oust President Assad. This in addition to an extra $30 million in new humanitarian assistance. The United States is not waiting. We are taking new steps to meet the growing humanitarian needs of the Syrian people to support the opposition as it moves toward an inclusive democratic transition and to further pressure and isolate the regime. Washington blames Iran for propping up the government of President Assad, but Russia has a different view of what is exacerbating the crisis. The Russian Foreign Minister, Sergei Lavrov, said countries that insisted on a ceasefire only by the Syrian government, while encouraging the opposition to intensify hostilities, were pushing Syria deeper into the abyss. As the diplomatic stalemate continues, fears for the consequences on the ground in Syria grow. I think the whole international community have to address this now. We need a binding resolution. We cannot waste more time because people are dying. As the war of words continues in New York, in Syria, a very real and deepening conflict is costing lives every day, and there's no end in sight. James Kelly, BBC News. Now, at least seven people have died after heavy rains called flash flash flooding in southern Spain. Among the dead